Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, the 1666 set has had its bath, as you can see. So I took the uh, all the cars, took them apart, plunked them down in some hot soapy water, scrubbed them with a soft brush and soap just to clean them up. And then I went to and dug out all of the tilt coupler cars that I had. Now it came with five cars. I only found three additional, which was the gondola, the tanker, and the logging car. So anyway, I uh, put them all together onto one consist, so it's uh, eight cars. And as you can see, this looks virtually new. I mean, this looks really, really good. So, getting ready to test the transformer. This was the original transformer that came with the uh, set. 25 watts, so it's nothing major, but as you can see, it is virtually new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used at all. So let's see how it'll run the 1666 pulling eight cars, 25 watt transformer. Whoop, would help if I turn it on. Okay, power is on. There's reverse. There's forward. So 25 watts and it's running this uh, 1666 and this consists actually quite well as you can see not a lot of power but it originally only had five cars with it I've added three to it so the transformer works the nice thing about it of course it's nice and small so uh, this would make a really great bench transformer. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video to test this transformer. And uh, a video of uh, all the cars after their bath. Plus I added three to the consist. So as you can see, this is a really, really nice looking set. And it looks virtually new. So I paid 20 bucks for it. I sold the... Uh, roadbed track that came with it for 20 bucks so essentially the uh, set was free I paid eight bucks for shipping so I'm really pleased with it anyway I just wanted to test this transformer to see how it was going to run like I said it's only 25 watts but as you can see it's running this with no problem and this uh, old set actually looks quite respectable now that it's cleaned up the uh, cars themselves look virtually new I mean, there's a couple of marks on them as you can see but uh, more storage marks than play marks I think in really really decent condition so originally had five cars I've added three to it and uh, this old locomotive and uh, all-state set is running just absolutely perfectly as you can see So there's 50% power on the uh, 100 watt transformer, pulling eight cars. So that's running really, really well. It looks nice, it runs good, and it was free. Really hard to beat that combination. So I just took all the cars, took them apart, put them down in uh, some hot soapy water, scrubbed them with a soft brush, let them dry, put them back together, put them back on the rail and then dug out the only other tilt cars I have. Well, I only have three of them. I don't uh, usually buy tilt. But since this entire set was tilt, I figured I'd just add what I had to it. So I added three cars for a grand total of eight. And as you can see, this is running just absolutely splendidly. So it looks virtually new, as you can see. So I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, like I said, I'll be running this the rest of the night. I just wanted to do a video uh, to test this transformer. Like I said, as you can see, this looks new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used at all. It's virtually new. Anyway, the uh, set has had a bath, so it actually looks quite nice. As you can see, that tinder looks like it just came out of the box. Flat car, box car, 
the original gondola, the gondola I added. I added the tanker and this, uh, I believe this was a logging car. And of course the original caboose. All eight wheel or four wheel trucks, all tilt couplers of course. Like I said, I don't usually buy tilt, so I just dug out the other three that I had and uh, added them to this consist. So I'll be running this the rest of the night. Anyway, just a quick follow up on this 1666. As you can no doubt tell, I'm having a really good time with this. It runs nice, it looks nice, and it was free. So, just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.